So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video-ish. <laughs> In this video I'm going to show you how you can easily and quickly create icons for your Power BI report. So let's get started. I showed you in a previous video how you can easily reuse um, button templates that it was actually shared by uh, Tableau Send Master. I'm going to post a link down below. In today's video I'm actually going to show you how you quickly and easy can create your own <laughs> kind of icons for your Power BI report. So let me show you. What you need to do is you need to go to www.autodraw.com and that is a Google project. It's actually an AI experiment that whatever you draw, it tries to recognize what it is and it will try to, it will make it as an icon that you can download or share anywhere. Really, really cool. Let me show you. So if we click here and start drawing, this is the how to draw mode. This is the mode where whatever you draw, the AI will try to figure out what it is and give you suggestions. For example, let's try to draw a smiley. So once you draw a circle, you see that it already suggests stuff. Then you, we need some one eye. Another one doesn't need to be too good to actually pick it up. It's actually very, very good, you see? And then we have this smiley, or th that smiley, <laughs> or that smiley. Nice, huh? Once you have it the way you want it, you can, for example, if you go here, you can select the, the icon, and you can change the color once you've selected it. So you can have it red, right? So pretty neat. Let's say that this is the way that you want it. You go here and you click download and it will download a PNG, which is quite nice so you can have a transparent background. You can share it to somebody. And here are the artists of, you know, the creators of the icons, really, really neat. So let's, for example, try to create a, a home button for Power BI. Okay, now that we have navigation is one of the most common things to, to have, I guess. So we're going to try to draw a house. This is probably good for your kids <laughs> to play with. with a, and here we have some houses, right? So now you can put any house that you want. You can, for example, grab this house or that one, modern house. Depending on the report you're, you are doing, you could have like a TP or a <laughs> it's actually quite cool. So that is the, the fun thing about it that you know, it gives you a lot of suggestions about, you know, what I guess would you have to do, and there is no copyright issues. Whatever you create is yours, use it. Now, let's grab the move. You can move it anywhere you like, and then you can do it smaller or bigger. Something else that you can do is then you can fill in the icon. This will fill in everything, so you will see just the, the contours of uh, the icon. You see, and now suddenly we have an arrow. So you could, for example, go in here and then you can move it, make it smaller. And then you have really an icon and then you can say, oh, I want my icon to be whatever. Oh, oh look, it doesn't do it. Okay, but now you know, I didn't know that. So you can add also text. Uh, you can use the control setup for undoing things that you don't want, so you don't have to select it. It works the same way. There are other shortcuts I'll show you. So the text is going to be uh, go to next page, for example. And this will be a part of the icon when you download. Then you can just put it whatever you want it there or there or inside white. Anything goes. You can do it smaller. And you can create shapes. So you say maybe you want to have like a, not that one, control set that let's pick. A, you see, you have the shapes up here. It took me the longest time to find out. So let's say that you would like to have that. Select. Right, so you can create your own. So with here, you can create your own icon without having the AI doing anything for you. So the if you want to know what the short, what shortcuts are available, you can find them here. So you have undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, everything that you want and anything. I am using it quite a lot because I am doing a report for 
let me show you, it's actually quite fun. I'm doing a report for, for building, for buildings, for houses and apartments and things like that. And for example, one of the things I needed was to create a, an icon for a, for a kitchen or for a bathroom, for a, so look at that. <laughs> so cool. So I'm, do, I'm drawing a toilet. And here you have the toilet with the sit up or down as you prefer. Okay guys, so this is all for today. I am going to start doing some Charticulator videos on Curable Data Labs. So if you want to see them, make sure you subscribe there. And uh, I'll see you soon. Take care.